All right, coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging on the ground. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. You see how comfortable Cejudo is in the pocket. It wasn't necessarily the case when he made his UFC debut back in 2014. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. <laughs> I don't do that as well as you do. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. DC back just in time from the can. Piotr Young versus Henry Cejudo. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. 20 seconds left. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. Whiffs on that offering. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a performance. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. 